and uh, I am here this afternoon with Zane Smith, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Kern County. Big changes coming over there for one of their signature fundraisers this year. We're really excited uh, about all of the things happening at the Boys and Girls Clubs. Zane, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. I'm so happy to be here. I so appreciate it. We love the Boys and Girls Club. Um, tell us, just give everyone an idea, the scale of the local Boys and Girls Clubs and how many children are served and touched by what you do. Well, as, I'm going to do a forecast. So as of January, we will have 70 locations throughout Kern County. 70. All the way to DeVore. Um, up to Lake Isabella, up to Tehachapi, where our teen center is, in McFarland. So we are all over the place. Um, an average of about 6,500 kids every single day walking through our club wow. doors. Um, and lots of programs, everything from performing arts to the visual arts to um, athletics. And then we have a new uh, program. It's our IDD program. So for kids with what I call exceptional um, needs. And um, it addresses kids who could be very successful in the Boys and Girls Club programs but need some extra support. Mm -hmm. um, they might have autism, they may be on the spectrum in some way, and so we have some specialists working with us, and we're really excited. It's gonna be part of our new event, too, coming up next year. That's exciting, so tell us about the big announcement here. Okay, so we are returning to our roots. Um, over 20 years ago, Castle & Cook kicked off Art Fest for us, and they were our inspiration and motivation, and so we're, we're going back to Art Fest. So next year, October 11th, um, new venue, new look, and Art Fest, which has been part of our DNA for so long is coming back and making a strong appearance. That is really exciting. Uh, it had been a, a different event for the last couple of years, but I'm so excited because it's still centering around art, which is just such a signature of the Boys and Girls Clubs. You do so much more than art is the thing. I mean, really mentorship is, is what I feel like is the core of Boys and Girls Clubs, but the art that you put out and the things that you're able to teach these children is just so incredible. Oh, thank you so much. And you're a big part of that because we're hoping we can lock you in again next year and and wow our audience, uh, you always do such a great job as our MC. I, I, I absolutely adore being there because hearing these kids um, get up and speak, they are so inspiring and they are such exceptional uh, young men and women. And I think so much of that is due to what they get out of the Boys and Girls Clubs. Well, in our fest, we'll be bringing them back. We'll have a, a keynote speaker from one of our children. We'll have our kids performing again. We'll have a kids art gallery, young masters gallery, um, displaying their work and, and selling their work. And I don't know if you remember, but the signature piece went for $5,000 this year from one of our 10 year olds. Their signature pieces are incredible. I bid on a few of those, did not get them, but next year I, I am I am gunning for them <laughs> because they are so fantastic. These kids are so talented. It, it will blow you away. There, there's no way I could do what they do. So. Well, we just want the community to keep an eye out for Art Fest is okay. back 2024, October 11th, and it's going to be sensational. All right, and by the way, Boys and Girls Clubs open to all local youth, so check out a local Boys and Girls Club. Go online and, and see if there's a location near you. Again, there are about 70 locations across Kern County.